Hey there, it's Erica from Ever Educating, and I do videos about teaching tips, tools, ideas, and resources for college instructors. This is going to be actually a, a series because I've just gotten access to Canvas as part of where I'm adjuncting currently. Um, before, I had access to Sakai LMS, and I have a video tutorial about that that I'll link below. But I know Canvas is a lot more popular, so I wanted to have basically a series of short videos about how I use it to curate my class website for my students. And so if you're new to Canvas, you know, as well, you might find these videos helpful. If you do, go ahead and click like and subscribe. All right. This is the third part of my Canvas tutorial series. I've already covered the Pages tool and the Discussions tool. And I'll go ahead and link those below in the playlist for Canvas. But today we're focusing on assignments, as you can see here. And so in this case, here are already assignments I've created. So something I want you to see is that you can create groups. So this major project is a group. And then inside a group, you have various assignments. Discussions, if any of the discussions are graded, they will appear here under the assignments tab. And I show you how to make discussions graded activities in that last tutorial. And then these are the ones that came with the course template when I you know, accessed it. And so these are just regular assignments that are just appearing under that particular group name versus the one that I curated, the major projects. A quick tip that I noticed after the fact, if you go to the main assignment page and you click this ellipses, you can add weight to each group. So you can't do that in the gradebook, and I was wondering why, because you can do it here. So I reorganized this, so you can have what each amount is, what each thing is worth. So for example, unit one is worth 10%, maybe unit two is worth 20, unit two, three is worth 25, this one is worth five, participation is worth 20, let's say, and it tells you how much the total is here. Um, let's say just for now, 10 and 10, right? So then you have a total of 100%. So you can see here, when you add it to the grade book, it knows that each unit is, is weighted differently depending on what the grade is for that unit. So if unit, worth, unit two is worth 20% and one is worth 10, the gradebook knows that even if they get a 95 on both of them, the unit two is worth more towards the final grade. So you do that from this assignment link, not from the gradebook. So to start from the beginning, let's say you have units and each unit has different activities that you want graded. If you add a group here, then you can call it, let's say unit one. And so now that group has been created, it's right down here. Now under unit one, you can say, I'm going to add an assignment to it. Now what's the assignment type? Is it a discussion form? Is it a quiz? Is it an external tool or is it not graded? So I'm gonna say assignment because that's what we're building here. And I wanna have, okay, well, the name is going to be, you know, the first thing you have to do is a paper outline. Okay? And it's due on a certain date. So let's just say here. And how many points is it out of? Let's say 100. Okay, more options. Now you're building the full thing in more details. So you have, okay, so here are my instructions for this particular assignment. And you can, you know, change the font, you can embed things into it, whatever the case may be. So I already showed you how to do this editing tool under pages tutorial. All right, so again, that's out of 100 points. It's part of unit one. The display will be, the grade will be displayed as points or do you want it as percentage, right? Whatever the case may be here. Um, does it count towards the final grade or not? Okay. Uh, the submission type, is it only online, on paper or an external tool, right? So let's say for example, online, then can they just add text into the text box or are they giving me a website URL? Is it a YouTube recording, right? It, or is it a file, like a PDF? So which ones can they use? So let's say, for example, they can do a file or they can just add it into the text box. Do you wanna restrict the file types, okay? What extensions can they use? How many times can they submit? Unlimited or they only can submit three attempts at this assignment, okay? Are you doing a, pl a plagiarism review or not? If they do, can the reports, are, are they shown to students? Okay, I don't use plagiarism reviews. Is it a group assignment? Okay, in this case, do you, if it is, do you wanna assign grades to each student individually 
right? Or did each student get the same grade? Okay. If it is a certain group, what group is it? Right. It's group one that I go over how to create groups in the discussions tutorial. Okay. Um, do they have to peer review? So this is not a group assignment. Do they have to peer review somebody's assignment here? Do you want to manually assign peer reviewers or do you want to automatically have them assigned? Okay. Um, do the peer reviews are going to be going to be anonymous or not? Okay. So maybe you have automatically, right? How many reviews per user? You can assign reviews, right? So this is just if you're peer reviewing, but this is an outline. So that's not the case here. Okay. Um, and so again, do you want to assign it to everyone or to certain students? If you want to add it to certain students, you can click that add button and student names will pop up that you can add here rather than assigning it to everyone. And again, what does it do? So in this case, I have September 1st at 12 a.m. If I click that, I can say maybe it's due at, you know, 5 p.m. Right. Uh, when can they see it? It's available from a certain date and it, they can no longer submit it after five days after the deadline. OK, so you can add that if you want to and then go ahead and save. So you really just want to take your time and go through all of those elements, of course. But I just want to give you a quick overview of what it takes to create an assignment. And so now the instructions would appear here. It tells you how many points, you know, how can they submit it, how many attempts are allowed. OK, um, you can also add a rubric to it. OK, so what is the criteria for this? So I don't create rubrics in this way, but it is an option if you want to take the time to do so. So it's not currently published, but you know, if you want to, you can just click publish and now it will appear right um, to students once the whole website is published for students. So you have here under assignments, under unit one, the paper outline. If you go here, you can move it if you want to, you can duplicate it if it's similar through each unit, whatever the case may be, or you can go ahead and edit it more. Okay, so you could definitely organize, and so under unit one, maybe you have the outline, the proposal, the first draft, the final draft, whatever the case may be, right? So you can have that all under a particular assignment group. If there is no group you want to add it to, you can just go up here as well and add an assignment, and then go straight through like the full page editor here, right? And so once again, you can go through it and add it on all the information you need. Now keep in mind, if you do this, right, it won't count towards the final grade in case maybe it's just, a, you know, I want to make sure you do it. So I create it as an assignment so it's submitted easily for me to see, but they're not actually getting points for it. It's just something they need to do as prep for something else, perhaps. One thing to keep in mind, because I know I went through it quickly. If you wanted to, at least this is how I would do it. I'm not sure if there's another way of doing it. If you wanted to make it a group assignment, then you might have, you know, one way is doing it this way, right? Where you assign grades individually, you can set a certain group and all that. But this is not as user friendly for me. I said they kind of get a set, you know, a handle of it. What I can do instead is rather than assigning it to everyone, I can add the five members of a group and save it, right? So only they will be given this particular assignment. And then I can just duplicate the assignment and say, okay, now add the members of group B, duplicate it again, group C, et cetera. So in that case, yes, it's different assignments um, rather than just one using this group function. So it probably would be easier this way, but at least I know very simply I can have, okay, well, it's assignment for group one and for group two and for group three. And I know that only those specific students are getting that assignment link. And so they can submit it to different assignment links depending on what group they're in. So that's one way of getting around using this group assignment, but still having a group project. So just kind of keep that in mind. I'll do some more research into the group assignment element so I can have that in a future video when I go over just like, here's some more advanced settings that you might need to know. Um, I'll make sure to add this to that particular video that will come up, you know, eventually. The peer reviews is another advanced feature that I'll have to look more into. But if you want to just do it automatically and you can say, you know, each one has to do one review, then the students will be automatically asked to review a certain user.
If you use a peer reviews tab, you'll see, if you click here, you'll see all my students listed, but you can click there and you can say, okay, you know, who's peer reviewed who's, you can assign peer reviews to certain students. So that's a more advanced page there, but I can't show you because you'll see all my students' names. Okay, but that does pop up when you have that peer review button on. And as I mentioned in the past tutorials, you can go to a specific page or a specific module um, in your LMS and you can link a specific assignment to the correct page. So if you had a page about week one, then you can say under classwork or homework, here's the assignment that I want you to do and you can link it automatically. And I show you how to do that in both the other, other tutorials I've already created. So if you're not sure how to do that, you can, I would suggest looking at the pages tutorial to see how it's done. If you have any questions about what I just went over, or if you want me to make sure I create a video about a specific element of the Canvas you know, LMS, do let me know in the comments below so I can do that in future videos. Uh, but if not, go ahead, if you haven't yet, and click that like button. I'll see you next time.